and welcome back to another tip of the week from Home Built Help. This week we're going to talk about what's kind of new in taking video from your aircraft. Now, you're probably already somewhat familiar with the GoPro cameras, and that's what we have here, except it's not a GoPro. It has most of the same features as the GoPro, it just doesn't cost nearly as much. Taking video from your aircraft has become incredibly more affordable. Instead of three or four hundred dollars for a little camera that will take video and record it on a little card inside, instead of costing three or four hundred dollars, this camera costs just seventy-five dollars with all of the accessories included. Now, I'm not here to sell you a particular camera, nor even recommend one. Rather, I want to make you aware that the prices have come way down and the technology way up. And if you don't have to go with a name brand like the GoPro, though there's certainly nothing wrong with those cameras, I want to show you what you can get on, for example, Amazon.com for about $75. And what I'm going to do is run through a bunch of the features of this camera and how I used it on my plane to have a lot of fun. Now we're going to talk about mounting this camera on our aircraft, but before we do, let's go over some of the features that make it attractive. It's both a regular still camera and a high definition video camera. On the back is the screen where you can actually watch your video or use the screen for setup for the camera, setting various parameters if you so desire. It stores its image on a micro SD card that comes separately and they come in different sizes to unload or upload the videos and pictures off this camera, you can either do that by way of removing the micro SD card or using one of the jacks which is set up for USB and you would plug that right into your computer and download your videos as you're probably already familiar with. The camera is powered by a rechargeable battery which is removable. It can be charged in the camera or outside. The kit came with two batteries, so that was very nice. You can keep one charged and ready to go after one is depleted. While the camera is not weatherproof, and it can be used indoors just as is, it comes with a very nice weatherproof, watertight, actually waterproof case, and you simply insert it into the case and close it up and lock it in place and now the functions through the buttons can be had through the waterproof case so this is how we're going to mount it on our wing and we don't have to worry about it going through the elements in any way shape or form and then we're going to talk about how do you mount this to your aircraft or to any other surface that you would like to. And that's where we get to look at the large variety of mounting options that are available and all removable. Before we do that, one thing that might come to your mind is how do you aim this camera? If we have this out on the wing and we're trying to pick up an area as we fly by and we don't know exactly when it's within the field of view of the lens. We certainly can't view the image all the way from the cockpit of our plane if this is way out on the wing. It turns out that this camera is Wi-Fi enabled which means all you need is your smartphone and it will send the picture to your smartphone and so you can watch the picture from inside your cockpit. Let's take a look at how this works. Here's the camera and notice that I'm watching the live video on my smartphone as we look around the studio here. And notice the red button. This is how we would turn the video or the camera on and off right from our airplane cockpit and only turn it on when we see what it is we want to see through the camera. 
for an application with the camera mounted inside the cabin, we don't need to use a smartphone. We can simply use the included remote on off button. One takes pictures, one starts the video camera rolling and stops it. And that way we can eliminate the smartphone entirely if we want to use the camera. Included with the camera are a number of mounting options, mounting clips and parts and pieces that allow you to attach the camera to any number of positions or structures for that perfect picture. Now, this is the indoor or non-weatherproof mount. The camera basically just snaps into this piece here. And then we have a swivel. Everything seems to have a swivel with an adjustment. And that allows you to mount it flat on some surface. Now, when it comes to mounting to a surface, we have a number of bases included that can either use a bolt through the center or sticky tape adhesive. Here is a set of handlebar mounts, and this is great for tubular structures. You attach it, and then of course we have our swivel mount again. Of course, a belt clip with an alligator jaw that lets you attach the camera so that you can wear this on your belt as a, as a body cam. And on our plane, it is mounted up on a tie-down hook, which is located right here. It's in its weather case, so it's completely weatherproof, waterproof. And I simply put a bolt through one of the mountings through the tie-down circle on this side of the wing. And checked with my smartphone to get a view that will look just below the fuselage and the wheels and it'll be something like this as I fly around. Another popular location to mount the camera is in the cabin on the ceiling right between the passenger and pilot somewhere in this area here so that we can look out the front window and see part of the pilot and passenger as they fly the plane and also see the panel. Another mounting location inside the cabin is on this tubular member up in the corner near the front windshield and this provides a picture that has a little bit less of the occupants and a little more of the view outside the front windshield. Transferring the camera between these various mounting locations is just a snap. Here is some sample footage using this camera. In this scene, we have it mounted under the wing. Now the camera has been moved to the center top between the pilot and passenger, giving a view of the occupants as well as the panel. And finally, the camera is now mounted in the front top corner of the cabin, eliminating view of the pilot and passenger.
Okay, now it's your turn to get a camera and make the videos. You can purchase all of this for less than $100. Here are the specifications for the camera I demonstrated here. I think these specs are typical for the class of cameras available in this price range. This is not a recommendation or review, but rather one of the first models that I have experimented with. You should search for the best camera for your needs by visiting the likes of Amazon.com and searching for Action Camera. The more expensive cameras will have features like GPS location and faster frame rates for a better video of action sports. Make sure you need these features before paying more for them. You decide. Get yourself a camera and start taking fantastic videos from your aircraft and share them with family and friends. Now everyone please, back to building.